Hey y'all, today our lesson is focused on writing territories or what I call, um, that's our writing topics. So territories are the area uh, that we can write about fairly easily. And I know a lot of you put in your writing inventories that it's really hard to do schoolwork when you are to do writing assignments when you don't know a lot about the topic. And so what we're gonna do today is create a list of all the different areas that you could write about fairly easily. And you're gonna use this as your source for writing ideas for the rest of the school year. And we're gonna to continue to add to this list as we go through. So I'd like to share with you my writing territories. Um, I began with travel because I love to travel. It wasn't something I really did until I was already a teacher. Um, and now, I just love it so much. Um, I didn't get to go to Uganda this past summer, but going to Uganda, working with the teachers, learning about the culture there, um, but also doing crazy things like sitting for an hour and just silently sitting with the gorillas as the baby gorillas climbed around in the trees and staring at the silverback in his big black eyes um, while the baboons screeched overhead. Um, I think that would make a really interesting poem. Um, going to Guatemala the first time to meet my son back before I became a parent, uh, learning about their culture there, going to Ghana, going to China, running the Great Wall of China Marathon, the, the perseverance I needed for that one because I ended up getting stress fractures in both of my legs. And um, it's sort of a motivation for me right now because since then I haven't run very much and that was back in 2014. So. Mrs. Merrill needs to get off her tuchus and get motivated again. Um, I've known my best friend since freshman year of college and uh, the stories that I could share about things that I've done with Megan and, and she's really helped me understand what a best friend is and what friends can do and support for each other. I'd love to write down the story of how I met my husband. Um, we met on the river um, and it's kind of like a story that you would hear in a movie. Um, people have said that I should write it down, so I really think I should so that I can pass it on to future generations. Um, I spent one semester working on Capitol Hill for a senator, and at that time um, I thought I had very strong political leanings one particular way, but the people in that office had much stronger political leanings than me and really made me start to question why I believed certain things. Um, and so that was an experience, just being surrounded by all of these names that you hear about in the news and seeing how laws are written um, and how the, the discussion goes on behind the scenes. Um, I think that would make a really good essay because a lot of people don't understand how our federal government works. Um, my first job working at a takeout stand at the beach and all of the tourists that would come in and order burgers and have ice cream, but then we'd have rainy days where we didn't do anything and um, I would still have to work. So learning, like hanging out with the guys that worked the, the fry line and, and the cook line and, and learning about those types of things. Um, my best friends since first grade are three guys that were like brothers growing up and uh, the adventures we have. Um, I would do things like ride my bike from basically Santa Rita down to Umatic in an afternoon and my parents wouldn't necessarily know where I was. I just had to be home before dark. Um, those are things I wish that my kids could do. So these are all of the different types of topics that I just came up with uh, that I could talk about and write about very easily. We're also going to talk about genres eventually, but don't worry about that today. And I also want you to think about audiences. Who do you write for? Um, I write for myself, but I also write for you, you guys, like typing up this list. This is for you and for me. I write for your parents when I send them emails. I write for my children, for other teachers when I create uh, professional development. So these are the different types of writing that I do. And now what I want you to do is to create your own list. I want you to take about 10 minutes to write down as many ideas as you can. You can use my list. I've, uh, there's another uh, handout that I've included called Things to Consider for Territories. And look at those and see what you can use. And then write. 